Thomson scattering is the elastic scattering of electromagnetic radiation by a free charged particle, as described by classical electromagnetism. It is just the low energy limit of Compton scattering. The particle kinetic energy and photon frequency are the same before and after the scattering. This limit is valid as long as the photon energy is much less than the mass energy of the particle, or equivalently, if the wavelength of the light is much greater than the Compton wavelength of the particle. The classical description is also the low intensity limit. Description of the phenomenon in the low energy limit, the electric field of the incident wave accelerates the charged particle, causing it, in turn, to emit radiation at the same frequency as the incident wave, and thus the wave is scattered. Thomson scattering is an important phenomenon in plasma physics and was first explained by the physicist J. J. Thomson. As long as the motion of the particle is non-relativistic, the main cause of the acceleration of the particle will be due to the electric field component of the incident wave. In a first approximation, the influence of the magnetic field can be neglected. The particle will move in the direction of the oscillating electric field, resulting in electromagnetic dipole radiation. The moving particle radiates most strongly in a direction perpendicular to its acceleration and that radiation will be polarized along the direction of its motion. Therefore, depending on where an observer is located, the light scattered from a small volume element may appear to be more or less polarized. The electric fields of the incoming and observed wave can be divided up into those components lying in the plane of observation and those components perpendicular to that plane. Those components lying in the plane are referred to as radial, and those perpendicular to the plane are tangential. The diagram on the right depicts the plane of observation. It shows the radial component of the incident electric field, which causes the charged particles at the scattering point to exhibit a radial component of acceleration. It can be shown that the amplitude of the observed wave will be proportional to the cosine of chi, the angle between the incident and observed waves. The intensity, which is the square of the amplitude, will then be diminished by a factor of cos 2. It can be seen that the tangential components will not be affected in this way. The scattering is best described by an emission coefficient which is defined as epsilon where epsilon dt dv d omega d lambda is the energy scattered by a volume element in time dt into solid angle d omega between wavelengths lambda and lambda plus d lambda. From the point of view of an observer, there are two emission coefficients. Epsilon R corresponding to radially polarized light and Epsilon T corresponding to tangentially polarized light. For unpolarized incident light, these are given by, where N is the density of charged particles at the scattering point, I is incident flux and is the Thomson cross-section for the charged particle, defined below. The total energy radiated by a volume element in time dt between wavelengths lambda and lambda plus d lambda is found by integrating the sum of the emission coefficients over all directions. The Thomson differential cross-section, related to the sum of the emissivity coefficients, is given by expressed in SI units. Q is the charge per particle, m the mass of particle, and a constant, the permittivity of free space. Integrating over the solid angle, we obtain the Thomson cross-section in SI units. The important feature is that the cross-section is independent of photon frequency. The cross-section is proportional by a simple numerical factor to the square of the classical radius of a point particle of mass m and charge q. Namely alternatively, this can be expressed in terms of the Compton wavelength and the fine structure constant. For an electron, the Thomson cross-section is numerically given by examples of Thomson scattering. The cosmic microwave background is linearly polarized as a result of Thomson scattering, as measured by Dassey in more recent experiments. The solar K corona is the result of the Thomson scattering of solar radiation from solar coronal electrons. NASA's stereo mission generates three-dimensional images of the electron density around the Sun by measuring this K corona from two separate 
satellites, intokarmics, corona of ICF targets and other experimental fusion devices. The electron temperatures and densities in the plasma can be measured with high accuracy by detecting the effect of Thomson scattering of a high-intensity laser beam. Inverse Compton scattering can be viewed as Thomson scattering in the rest frame of the relativistic particle. X-ray crystallography is based on Thomson scattering.